I'm excited to announce the new Seabell product lineup and its mobile application for the iOS and Android platforms. It features P2P functions. It supports up to five megapixel cameras. You'll get a higher resolution with lesser bandwidth usage as well. This feature I love, it's called Gesture Password. Gesture Password is similar to the Android Pattern Password that will allow you to set your application's password based on a pattern that can be inputted in a matter of seconds, giving you ease of use and allowing you to still retain that level of security that you need for your security system. You can also share your snapshots with social media. The new Seabell mobile app will use every inch of your phone's screen. Personalize your Seabell mobile app however you like. It's fast and intuitive. Local settings will allow you to set a reserved space for the application from 50 megabytes all the way to one gigabyte. This feature can be changed as needed. You can set your favorites by groups as well. Launch settings will allow you to select what happens when you launch the app. I have mine set to play last preview channels. Now let's get started. First, we must set a device. For this example, I'll be using a recorder on 192.168.1.136. You can also input a DDNS address or the recorder's SN, as well as scan the QR code for a P2P connection. Be sure to enable the P2P function first on your recorder. Admin is the user and the default Seabell products password is 123456. Once the settings are set for the initial device, you'll be brought to a demo of what the buttons on the screen will do. Let's move to the layout. You'll be able to select one camera, four, nine, and 16 camera view. For this demo, I'll be using the TVI PTZ SBIR18XME. The first landscape icon will allow you to set the channel's resolution. The second paint icon will allow you to select the brightness, color, and other image settings. The PTZ icon will do just that, allow you to tap and drag your finger where you want the TVI PTZ camera to go. And the last icon is the full screen function which will put the phone into landscape mode. Moving on to the bottom of the screen from left to right, you'll see the snapshot icon. That will take a snapshot of the current channel selected. Clicking on the window that appears after the snapshot button is pressed will invoke the file manager, allowing you to erase or share the image as well as set its orientation with the top right buttons shown here. Clicking on the link button will reveal the sharing options. If you don't wish to share them, you can save them to your device's memory. Getting back to the live screen, you'll see the camera icon. This will start a local record to your mobile device's memory. Videos are unable to be shared at the moment. This is the center button, which you've already seen, where you can select the camera view. The speaker icon will turn on the speaker, allowing you to listen on the channel if the camera has a mic on it, or the recorder has mic input set to the channel. The last button is the mic, where you can do what's called two-way audio. This requires an amp and speaker system to be installed on the recorder so that both parties can hear one another. Going to the top right, you'll see the heart icon that will show your favorites, as well as allow you to set your favorites. Let's click on the little guy icon. This icon will reveal the side menu that will allow you to set more recorders and cameras as well as get your local files, such as snapshots. Clicking on the remote setting will interact with the recorder, directly allowing you to make changes within your app, something that's not available in other brands. 
Here I click on the test recorder and I can select basic, general, configure to rename the device, set the ID of the device and other things here. You can also set the audio logout feature to more than 60 seconds. You can select up to 10 minutes. Let's go back and select recording. The record menu will allow you to make changes such as record 24 seven motion and or sensor recordings. And getting back to the main side menu, you'll find server list. Here you can click on the QR code and share this code among family, friends, and or coworkers that require access to the recorder or camera. You can also make changes to the recorder or camera. The sync button will synchronize your app to your recorder or camera, ensuring all settings are saved to the recorder. This is our tutorial. Thanks for watching.